Good morning guys, welcome to day three in, actually in France this time. The boys are here. How's the ferry? That was really fucking uncomfortable night's sleep. A very uncomfortable night's sleep. We basically got on the ferry about midnight and didn't get off until, no, didn't get off to sleep until about one and then we had to get up at five and we had to sleep on the cold, the cold hard floor. There's air con and it really wasn't very pleasant because there were so many people on our ferry that we couldn't get a cabin. But anyway, this makes it kind of worthwhile. Look at this for a view. Beautiful. The sun's just rising over there. It actually looks like it's going to be a bit of a cloudy day today, which is good because my arms are a little bit sunburnt and I think I need to give my skin a rest. But yeah, today we're cycling from Cayenne to uh, Fleurs and we're going to be staying with a guy called Emil at an animal sanctuary, I think. Which is going to be fun. How you doing, Harry? Yeah, it's solid, right? Oh. Nice to be on the right side of the road. This is nice, isn't it? Charlie's battering it on the head like a legend. Today's cycle is going well. We're about 20 kilometers in actually, and we got to do 70 today, so we made a good start. I've got about 50 to go. Really, really nice scenery. The roads are super flat today, as you can see. I'm a little bit worried though, because for the last 10 kilometers, we've been going downhill the whole way, so I think there's gonna be a massive uphill pretty soon, but I'm just enjoying the downhill at the moment. I think we're following an old railway line as well. Um, Back there, there was some like cars, like pedal cars, that you can take on the railway line, but it's completely downhill. Oh, push it! Yeah, going a lot quicker than us. They haven't got 40 kilograms strapped to their backs. I'm just cruising at the moment. Don't have to do any pedaling, which is not <laughs> is not going to be good in about a couple of kilometres, I reckon, because it's going to be all uphill. Only time will tell. As I predicted, the downhill could not last forever. This is an absolute massive hill now. We've been going up hills for the last two kilometers. And we're all shattered, absolutely shattered. I'm in the lowest gear on my bike and it's literally hardly moving. You could walk quicker on it. My glasses won't stay on my face. It's got too much sunburn. Look at the state of that. I don't know if you can see how steep the gradient is on here, but it's bloody steep, I'll tell you that. And the boys are having to push their bikes because they don't have the gears. Mine's a touring bike, so it's got quite low gears. Oh. So yeah, the last 20Ks of the journey, they're gonna be absolutely agony, absolutely sweating. <sighs> so after about, I don't know, 10K, probably 20, no, actually, that's a lie. The whole day there's been nowhere to stop and find anywhere to, to eat. We've been following an old railway line for about 50K. It's the hardest like. thing I've ever done, Ben, I'm not gonna lie. What well, yeah. this? Today, probably mm. climbing up that hill, I don't think I've ever done anything even travelling more ridiculous than that. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's well forever. This vial of balsamic vinegar they give you. Oh no. That's like some crazy wizard did You're gonna, gonna pour it, it on. on. I don't know. You're gonna nosh the sandwich and the salad. Yeah. Forever. Mm. So we're currently having a bit of a predicament. Not only are we shattered after cycling up what felt like bloody Kilimanjaro, um, we've just found out that the travel adapters, what well, I say just found out, oh, don't fall over. We just found out um, that our travel adapters don't fit in the plugs. Um, so basically, unless we can find power soon, we're not gonna have any way of charging our stuff. I think my phone's got 50%, Charlie's phone's got 50%, Harry's phone's dead, my laptop's nearly dead. So basically we've got to try and find charger. We're in the supermarket. Hopefully the boys are going to go and try and find one. Turns out it's all good. Harry had one the whole time, but it meant we didn't have to buy one for 15 quid. So panic over. Everything's going to be fine. We've got 20k to go. 
Let's do it. Uh, so we just cycled up the biggest hill I've ever cycled up in my life, that's for sure, let alone with 40k kg panniers. Anyway, whew, it was a good physical challenge, definitely would not do that again. So we're going to get to our Airbnb, which is not too far away now, um, and have a little review of the route tomorrow because I think we've got about 90 kilometres to do tomorrow, which is a hell of a lot, especially after how knackered we're going to be after today. So get back to the Airbnb, charge everything up and um, review the route. Legends! We just got to the place and it's absolutely tipping it down. We managed to get our bikes in just in time. Jeez. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> oh my God, get rid of that. Oh. Ooh. I am absolutely shattered. Today was absolutely manic. We left the ferry at 7 a.m. And we didn't get to this house until 7 p.m. And today was a bit of a reality check, really. Um, we were meant to be cycling about 70 kilometres, which isn't, which last year wasn't actually that much um, when we were in Holland. But I forgot that we we're actually in France, and I thought I thought it would be less hilly than it was basically. So today it was absolutely insane the amount of hills. If we weren't going uphill, we were going downhill, and it, so it was up and down, up and down all day. And all of us are absolutely shattered now. So much that I'm, I'm not. I'm just going to go straight to bed. It's about nine o'clock. I'm going to go straight to bed. Not going to do any editing, so which is why the vlogs have been late recently, is because we just haven't had any time really. We just had no time between getting to the locations. And the reason why we had no time is because I only had seven days to get here um, because I had a film course. So it's, it's not been as smooth as I would have hoped so far in terms of actually getting to and from places as it's been a little bit rushed, I think. It's been a bit of a reality check today, to be honest. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to do the 70, 80 kilometres. I think 50 to 60 is more realistic. Um, and that's something we're learning as we're going. The only issue is all the Airbnbs are booked um, in advance. So if we if we miss one of them, we're going to have to cancel all of them, um, which isn't ideal. Let me just give you a quick room tour before end of vlog. This is me and Harry's room for the night. Going through here. Oh. This is our little apartment for the night. This is Charlie's little room. This is our room. We got the bikes in because it's just been an absolute thunderstorm. Here's the kitchen. Here's Harry and Harry's bum. And a bathroom. Ta-da! This is our view. It's very rainy at the moment. There was just a thunderstorm. And yeah, that is pretty much all we've got for today. Stay intrepid and we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, with another daily vlog. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, I'm absolutely shattered.